The current pandemic sweeping through most of the world has wreaked havoc in most areas of the economy, as well as our personal lives. But could the current crisis provide the next push for the fintech industry? Let's have a look at some obvious suspects that could gain traction during the pandemic. Peer-to-peer -peer payments. Digital wallets and mobile money might be the easiest and quickest channel to send money to peers, whether within the country or internationally. With many of the world's borders closing, sending money to family and friends stuck in foreign countries is likely to become more relevant. Cross-border payment solutions like TransferWise and Revolut can send money to others faster and cheaper than banks and traditional FX companies. Online merchant payments. As part of the lockdown enforced by many governments, non-essential shops are forced to close. Thankfully, ordering items online should not be a problem, with a variety of digital payment methods such as mobile money in Africa, QR payments in Asia and digital wallets in Europe and North America available to online buyers. We expect the likes of PayPal in the US, M-Pesa in Kenya, Alipay in China and Swish in Sweden to accelerate their war on cash even further. Consumer lending. As people might lose some of their income or even their jobs over the next few months, loans of all types are likely to rise in demand. While banks are still king in the lending arena, their digital loan propositions are often cumbersome and require personal visits to the branch. On the other hand, some fintechs are mastering digital credit scoring by utilising advanced machine learning and artificial intelligence to better understand their customers through alternative sources of data. Business lending. Similarly to some individuals, some businesses might find themselves in need of some extra cash to cover costs as they face a slump in demand or even being forced to close down for some time. With their advanced credit scoring algorithms, small business lenders such as Cabbage and Funding Circle, as well as payment service providers such as Stripe and iZettle, might see an uptick in demand for their short-term loan and cash advance services. Health and life insurance. Amidst a life-threatening pandemic, health and life insurance will always be among the most in-demand financial services. With incumbent insurance companies generally slow to innovate, insurtechs such as Oscar in the US have come to the fore with their digital solutions, offering personalised plans to individuals, families and businesses. Insurtechs such as Ethos in the US are tackling the life insurance space and are increasingly gaining traction using predictive analytics and sophisticated data technologies to provide cover that is easy to access and available for all.